Dicko, Aloysius, Afrocket, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Wow, that was one great dream. Imagine me as the President of the United States of America. <laughs> ah! It's the blonder tongue girl, and she's in my bed. Dicko, baby, you're the best lover I ever had. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. You want to cuddle? I love politics. <laughs> Welcome to part three. When last I left you, I had a bad transformer. So I pulled the transformer out and we'll take a closer look at it. I rechecked these uh, wires outside of uh, the chassis and uh, there's still uh, no continuity. So the only way I see to get this clamshell off is to pop it. Yeah. There's no screws or nothing in it. Put your hip into it. <laughs> what is what it looks like inside here? I'm gonna have to work these wires through the holes and I'll be back and we can take a closer look at it. get to those wires in there. So this is pretty much shot. You can't fix this one, buddy. Straight away. You're probably looking at this mess and saying, what the hell is that? Well, I'll tell you. Since my transformer is bad, I went on eBay and I bought this. Wow. Amazingly, it's, uh, almost identical to the one that was in there. Maybe uh, this is a little bit uh, about like 30 second of an inch needs to be filed down from the chassis so this will fit in here but these holes line up perfectly. So hopefully we can test this and if it tests okay we're going to uh, test the radio with this thing. Exciting stuff huh? Now what you're looking at here is I'm putting a load on the, all the windings. Uh, one of these windings is the uh, 6.3 and a 5. So I put in like a 200 ohm on one and a 100 ohm on the other. And then on the high voltage line I put in a, a 10K heavier duty one here. So with this set up like this I should be able to uh, power up uh, this unit, hook my uh, variac, and uh, we should see uh, voltage coming out here. I've got this hooked up to one of the uh, the high voltage wires and the center tap, so we should see if this is right. We should see about 180 to 190 volts here. So just keep our fingers crossed here. Take a look at uh, this is the AC going into the transformer. I'm going to slowly bring this all the way up to about 120. This is the AC amps that is going to be uh, pulling. This shouldn't get too high. I wouldn't expect it to even go above the to point 0.2. Probably in between 1 and point 0.2. And this will be the voltage coming out of the, the secondary winding. And we're, hopefully we're going to hit uh, 180. 190 if we're lucky even more so here we go 
You ready? Got my variac here. Oh, before I do that, I have an important message from John from Arkansas. Listen to this message. Electricity is like a caged animal. It wants to get out. It is always looking for a place to get out. Always looking for a place to get out. It does not rest. It wants out. And if you touch something, that you know, it looks for any low resistance, any kind of resistance that's low, it will try to get out. If you touch any of these wires, any of these components, any of these tube saws, anything, after the power's been applied and you touch the wrong one, guess what? You become low resistance. It will get out, it will escape and go into your body. Electricity's like a caged animal, never forget it, it always wants out, okay? Thank you, John, thank you. Oh, yes, yes, that's very true. Truer words were never spoken. And if you're not familiar with electricity, don't even attempt this. Here we go. There's 30 volts. And we're picking up 56 on the secondary. There's 60 volts going in and 105 coming out. Go up to 90 volts, going in, coming out 151. Here's about 110. So we're hitting that magic 180 mark here. Let's put about 120. When this says 120, it's actually about 115 to 120. So. Oh, we got 193. That's looking good here. I think that will power up the radio very nicely. Woohoo! Make sure none of these are getting hot. Be careful. This one's getting just a loop warm here, but. All right, we're going to gator wire the radio and we're going to fire it up. Don't go away. This will be exciting, one way or the other. Yeah! I guarantee. I've got the speaker here hooked up. Um, and I got them taped so hopefully uh, it won't short anything. So I'm going to put the speaker over here. Figured out that these two wires are the antenna and the ground. So I put in a, a 10 microfarad cap here. I'm going to leave the same ones in here. In fact, I'm going to leave everything in here. I've got the uh, chassis with all the tubes in it except for the rectifier. There's excitement in the air, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. We're going to hook up the 6.3 windings. To power up the other tubes and they go here on pin 7 and pin 2 and that's the winding for that here's the 5 volt winding for the rectifier tube that's pins 2 and 8 I honestly think you ought to sit down calmly. It's pins 2 and 8. The high voltage wires are pin 4 and 6. Take a stress pill and think things over. And our center tap goes here. Are you sure? Okay, I'm going to situate this so I can get everything in camera and then we'll be right back. Okay, the rectifier tube is not in, so we're not going to... Uh, get much here. I just want to make sure that uh, the 6.3 windings that are connected to each of the tubes I want to make sure that uh, there's no other problems. If anything spikes here we'll be able to see it over here on the AC amps. And this is hooked up to uh, the high voltage from uh, one point to the center tap. We should see that 180, 185 again on here. And that's AC volts. I 
30 volts 60 90 what point one here point one amps that's 100 105 110 about 115 so at the same point we were when it was hooked up to the the power resistors I should see some tubes lit yes I do I see lit tubes here I'd show them to you but I only have one camera come on you cough up a bucket cheap bastard so you know what this means huh no sir <laughs> rectifier time rectifier time Clark watch your language remember he does John from Arkansas words. Electricity is like a caged animal. Here we go. I'm kind of nervous here. I double checked my wires. I know it looks like a complete mess, but believe me, they're all where they're supposed to be. Are you sure? Uh, so here goes nothing. Oh, brother. Boy, I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. Oh, I gotta set this to DC. Oops. Steady trooper, steady. Put it on 200 scale. Okay, Farrak is hot, box is hot. Keep your eyes on this. If that thing spikes, which I'm praying it won't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. Shucks, folks, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm gonna go real, real slow on these voltages. Sir. Here we go. Watch out for sparks, too. I'm so nervous. I'm sweating like a pig. That's 30 volts. They were getting, uh. We're already getting DC voltage. looking good here I don't see no light slit on here go up to 40 I remember I got a new electrolytic here but there's two here in parallel that uh, measure at about uh, 30 microfarad it's supposed to be eight. Eighty two volts. It's going down. See, that's what it normally does. It, it goes up and then it comes down. Who knows how many years this is, hasn't been working. Could have been like this for 40 years, 50 years. Go up to 50 volts. If that thing starts spiking, I'm going to have a heart attack, I think. That's kind of holding steady at 50. That's a good sign. 60 volts. AC 60 volts are going in. DC coming out, 89, 88, let's see if it drops anymore. Oh, I heard something come from the speaker. Looks like I had the volume all the way down. Let's go up to 75. Now normally these radios will come alive about 90 volts. I'm going to feel the transformer and it's cool as a cucumber. 121 volts DC, B plus voltage. Around 75 AC coming in. Let's put it up to, uh, let's go to 90. Let's go whole hog. 
It's pegging at 0.2 amps. 149 volts DC. I don't know some of these. There's a band selector here. I don't know which is which on right here. I'm gonna go up to 100 and we'll see if we can play with those uh, band selector switches and see if we can get anything. There's about 100 volts. AC. Here's your B plus. There's a wire here that uh, had tape on it. I had no idea where it goes. So I put tape on it. So I won't. In case it's hot, uh, screw it. I'll leave it hanging there. I'm not getting any lights at all. I don't know why. Oh, let's hook up an antenna to it. Here's the antenna. I think that's the antenna. Oh! That sounds like a radio. This must be the ground, huh? Holy mackerel! I am gonna throw sticky. One of the easiest ways to spruce up a room is with new blinds from blinds.com or green new custom. Oh man, I feel good. It's kind of flaky it needs to be sprayed. We're only about a little past point two. Let's put this on about 115 volts here. We'll pull in 191 on the B plus, which is pretty close to the uh, what is supposed to be at 220. But I've always found that it works just as well a little lower. This is on an on off switch, but since the on off switch is not connected, it's not doing anything. Pick up another station. Looks like it's settling in about a point three. I think that this was not going to draw that much current. This is just five tubes, and it's not the most expensive radio on the market. There you go. Gator wiring, the transformer. 
into the socket and the radio working. Unbelievable. I think it's Miller time, folks. What do you have? Give me a beer. Well, that was interesting. If you can't get BBC, how about a little guy Lombardo? And the transformer's not even warm at all. I'm going to uh, leave this on about half an hour and see if you get any overheating, but uh, I think we got a winner in this radio. Here I thought it was the end of the series when the transformer was bad. And I go to eBay, I find this, boom, it comes in three days. The radio's working. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in part four. Hey, wifey. Give me a beer, all right? Get your own damn beer!